find two numbers whose sum is 23 and whose product is maximum. Okay, so since we don't know what what are those two numbers, let us denote that the first number is x and the second number is y. Okay, and we are given that the sum of the two is 23. So x plus y equals 23. And we want to maximize the product. Okay, so let us say that the product of the two is x times y. Now from the first equation, we can solve this equation for y. So y equals 23 minus x. And hence, this product can be written as x times 23 minus x. Or 23x minus x squared. Now our job is to maximize the function p. Okay. So in order to do so, we need to take the derivative of p to find the critical numbers. So the derivative of p equals 23 minus 2x. And we set this to be equal to 0 to find the critical numbers. Hence, we have 2x equals 23. Solving for x, we have x equals 23 halves. Okay, now we need to justify that this x is indeed give the maximum to the function p. So we need to check the okay. We can use this information that the derivative of p is 23 minus 2x. Okay. Now here is the real line and put all the critical numbers on the line so here 23 over 2 now check the sign of the derivative now let us see here that the derivative is 23 minus 2x if we take any x to the right to this number for example say 15 okay if you plug in 15 to the x, 23 minus 30 will be negative. So, on this area, the derivative of p is negative. And meanwhile, on the left area, say if x equal 1, 23 minus 2 is positive. In this area, is positive. So, this sign tells us that the graph of P is first increasing and then decreasing. Okay. Then it tells us that x equals 23 over 2 is the peak of the graph of P, which means that P reaches maximum when x equals 23 over 2. Okay. So P is max when x equals 23 over 2. And if x equals 23 over 2, then y equals 23 minus x, which is 23 over 2. So x also, so y also 23 over 2. And it follows that the maximum value for p, then p max, 
is the product of these two numbers 23 over 2 multiply 23 over 2 which is 409 12 5 to 9 divided by 4 